Everyone knows you need a solid ad campaign in order to bring in desired customers, but do you know why advertisers may choose one platform over the other? Let's go into it. So the first main difference is just targeting in general. Facebook offers a very specific targeting based approach. Like you can literally find out pretty much anything you want about your target audience. For instance, you can look up demographic information, interest behaviors, and connections. Advertisers can use Facebook's like enormous user data to target very specific audiences, such as like hobbies, job titles, and even life events. While on the other hand, PPC mainly bids on keywords relevant to the product or service. So essentially, Facebook gives you their hyper-specific targeting that is almost creepy depending on how well you want to know you or how well you know your target audience. And PPC gives you a very general audience, but the difference is, is the people that are searching for PPC have very high intent because they're searching for a very specific keyword. So they are less likely more to convert instead of the Facebook audience. We're gonna kinda go over this into a little bit more towards the end of the video, but pretty much this is the base thing you need to know. Facebook goes by cost per impression slash cost per click, whereas PPC goes by strictly cost per click and cost per acquisition. So PPC is much more intent based and Facebook's much more user based. So Facebook tries to pair you with the perfect audience and PPC tries to pair you with high intent users. So that kind of leads us into our next point, which is intent. So Facebook targeting focuses purely on users based on their interests and behaviors, even if they're not actively searching for the specific product you're advertising for. So what this kind of means is, so if you've ever gone on Facebook for and you searched like and you, not even Facebook, but if you've ever gone on the internet before and you typed in a product that you may have thought that was cool and you start getting a bunch of random ads that are very familiar to that same product, that's Facebook working its magic. It has a pixel that tracks you everywhere so it can see exactly kind of what you're looking for in that specific time frame, so it knows which advertisers to pair you with. Whereas PPC, you kind of always almost have to search for the advertisers in a way, because say if we're, like, we're on Google and we're, and we're um, searching for a term for like plumbers and we're doing like plumbers near me and then the city name, like that's very hyper specific and it's gonna pair you with the ad that is most likely to convert for that keyword. And that's how the bidding works for PPC, is you kind of have to bid for the top places. Now, one huge difference that you're going to notice is just the ad formatting between Facebook and Google ads. It's very different. So Facebook has a variety of ad formats you can do, which gives you a lot more creative kind of focused advertising. So you can do carousels, video ads, image ads, and a lot more on Facebook. And again, it gives you that kind of creative role. Whereas Google ads, it's a lot less creative and it's more focused based on the landing page that you're sending the person to that searched on the keyword. Google ads, you just get a lot higher based intent because people are literally searching for that specific term. Whereas on Facebook, it's kind of like you're scrolling through and you may see something that you find interesting. That's kind of the difference is someone specifically searching for something, whereas you're showing something to someone that they may find interesting. And so that's generally why you have to get really creative with Facebook ads, because not only are you fighting for users' attention, you have to get them to stop scrolling through the timeline, which is kind of hard, because everyone has like goldfish attention spans nowadays, all right? That's kind of the good thing about Facebook, is you get the option to really figure out how you're going to get these people to click on your ad, whereas Google ads, it's more like, they're going to click on it just because they search for this term and they're going to hope what you are showing them resembles what they're looking for. So if you want to get good with Google ads, you really need to get good with lining users intent with your landing page. If you get really good at that, you'll have very high converting landing pages. Facebook ads, again, you just want to make very appealing ads that people will click on to get their attention. So they fill out the form is generally Facebook advertising costs less per click than Google does. But Google, again, you get higher intent. Lastly, the main last difference that Facebook and Google ads have is just the cost structure. So while yes, you are both bidding on particular audiences, Facebook and Google have different levels of competition for each industry. So it's actually good to check the competition level in Facebook and Google ads for the specific industry you're advertising for so you can find the best approach for that specific audience. Advertising is not just like a one and done. You just throw a bolt, like a dart on a board and just hit a bullseye. You have to really keep trying and figuring out the perfect campaign for that specific audience. And that's why a lot of people that are in the advertising slash SMA scene recommend just 
niching down to one specific audience so that you get really good at delivering one specific campaign that you can do over and over and over again. So at the end of the day, it's really just down to personal preference, all right? So it's important to note, Facebook has a lot of ways to get yourself banned compared to Google Ads. Like you can get your ad campaign shut down for a lot of stupid reasons, which makes it so you have to create multiple Facebook ad accounts so that you, if one gets banned, you can keep running ads on the other. So that's a popular strategy a lot of people use for Facebook ads. But again, it's really annoying to advertise sometimes on Facebook because Zuck just likes to strike down your campaign sometimes. That's kind of why my company, we specifically advertise for plastic surgeons slash cosmetic surgeons, and we book them 30 quality consultations in 90 days because we know Google ads and we know that these people have high intent that are clicking on our landing pages and we know that we can convert them. So that's just something you need to learn about your industry. If you know your industry, then you will be able to pretty easily find out whether you want to use PPC or Facebook ads because they both are very good and they both have their unique purposes. So that's really all for today's video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and leave a comment what you'd like to see in the next video. But that's all for now and thank you for watching.